Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're pretty funny. What are you doing? You're pretty cute. You are so cute. You are so cute. I'll eat your face. Got something new in the mail today, floppy catters. And this one comes from an Etsy seller in Rotterdam, which is in the Netherlands. All right, without further ado, let's open her up. All right, here's what's inside. So, starts out with sweet dreams. I saw this Etsy seller featured on House Panther. And House Panther is a cat blog, a cat website run by Kate Benjamin, who has done a few. Oh, woo, it's not. Oh, it is a pad. Uh, has done a few books with Jackson Galaxy on cat catification, so making your indoor living space cat friendly, if you will, without making it look really tacky. So, this Etsy seller makes cat beds, pet beds, and this is. Supposed to be a cat landing pad. I need to probably stretch it out and take a look at it. And I need to look at what that says. <laughs> she had a note on there. This side up trample me to make me flat. So I pushed it down and it was perfect. Okay, so let's see what he does. Can you come see? The reason I wanted a landing pad, if you will, rather than like a bed that had sides on it, because we've previously reviewed one of those as nails stuck in that so I'll just put it back down is because Charlie seems to enjoy landing pads more than the traditional cat bed and Chiggy decided to come in because he saw Charlie playing Charlie's playing with paper which has adhesive on it and he loves adhesive Chiggy what do you think about that? what do you think about that? She loves wool, so we'll see how it goes with him, too. So, Chick, Chick, look at this happy key. Chick, what's his beard? <laughs> um, when we got our first wool bed, wool cat bed, Chiggy just went crazy. Um, Charlie's kind of frisky right now. <laughs> it's raining outside. I was hoping he'd like this, too, even though it's not the traditional cat bed. The landing pad. Let's see if I can get him relax again. He got kind of pissy pants. Kiko! 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 What is it? Oh, you like a it? Oh, that's so nice! Woo! Where's he gonna... Okay, good. Che? Che, what's this one? Che, what's this one? <laughs> that is a good sign, folks. That is a good sign. I might have issues with it, though, with their claws. But we'll see how that goes. What a nut job. What a nut job. God, what is it? God, what is it? I gotta tear it up. I'm gonna roll on it. <laughs> Somebody needs a banana. There are a lot of wool cat toys, and this is why wool can make them kind of frisky, the smell of it. <laughs> I'll have to remove that tag and the other one she put on it. A big, big thank you to... I'm just going to say like Sheep for sending this to us on Etsy. I'll include a link to her Etsy shop in the About section of this video. So you can check it out and i also try to include it in the comments. And then let me know what questions or concerns you might have as we go through the review process on this. The reason why I'm attracted to wool beds is because Wool is a good heat regulator. Um, it's also all natural and doesn't have chemicals and hopefully no pesticides in it that um, will be a problem for kitties long term. You always have to think about what your cat's laying on, what they're eating, and their long term exposure to it. So it's always important to me to know what the beds are made of that they're laying on or what my furniture is made of or my bed's made out of. Canary in a coal mine, anybody? You want to make... <laughs> He's just as frisky. <laughs> you guys were just having a little bit of cabin fever, and then um, we were having a little bit of cabin fever, and I was like, well, guys, let's go see what we got. Because we could go see what we got, right, go, go? <laughs> it's like rubbing his face all over it. Gow, do... <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody likes his new bed. Gal, you are a freak. What are you doing, freakoid? Pretty funny. You're pretty funny. You gonna do with that bed? You gonna tear it up? Tear it up. I told him when I the package required a signature and it was supposed to be delivered yesterday and it was delivered to, or I went to the post office to get it today. And I told him, guys, this package came a long way. It went over an ocean. <laughs> That's one of the so cool things about Etsy. I just, I, I love that website and the concept of it when it's sellers that are, you know, doing their craft and selling stuff. Cow, what's this one? You could hide under the ears. You could hide under the ears. I guess the way that it's made, are, you know, it, you can trample it down as she suggested, push it down. But this might be nice to have kind of a little wall there. So we'll just see how it lays and figures itself out. And that's a, another nice thing about a handmade item is um, <laughs> all the fairies. <laughs> Gal, you are so cute. Gal, why are you doing so cute things? Gal, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Get him, Gal. Get him. He's he's like bunny kicking my my hand. Get him, Gal. Get him, Gal. Get him, Gal. I could watch him forever. This is pulling apart a lot with her claws. We'll just have to watch that. We'll have to see how that works out. I'm going to take this off, Gal Gal, because I don't want you to eat it. Oh, strings. Oh, I like strings. When she plays with strings. Arr. Um, just so you guys know, I do play with my cats with strings, but then I put them away. I don't leave them out, so I will pick this up. Um, one of the reasons that I don't like leaving strings out for cats is because my mom's cat, Murphy, when he was 18 months old, swallowed curling ribbon that he pulled off of a package, a gift wrap package, and... Somehow it got lodged with cat hair or whatever and was a blockage in his colon and it was a pretty scary time. He had to have a few inches of his colon cut out and the, what they thought was a mass removed. But it ended up being this like wad of stuff that he had swallowed because cats can't spit anything out of their mouth. They can use their paws to pull it out but they can't spit out like we can. So once it's going down, it's going down. Yeah, ready? I just like to make that disclaimer because I don't want someone watching me play with string and then do the same and, and figure out what we figured out, which was not fun. A nice emergency vet, vet bill. Um, but more importantly, how scared you are that you're gonna lose your cat. Excuse me. <laughs> You're pretty funny. What are you doing? Are you high? You're pretty cute. You are so cute. You are so cute. I'll eat your face. I'll eat your face. Alright guys. Again, here is their website. And I'll link to it uh, in the about section. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, consider doing so. Just hit that little subscribe button. You can also hit that little bell that will give you, um, will notify you of our most recent uploads. And that way you can see our review when it's posted in four to six weeks. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Do it, do it, do it, do it, 360 tour of the Gal Gal. How do you like your new bed, Trig? Oh, it's supposed to be 360. Okay. Why is the camera shaking? We have to fix that again. So booful.
Show Bufo.